Hey there, welcome to One Minute with Naomi. I'm here to inspire you with practical and unique ways to transform your health and your life. Today, I wanna to talk to you about how you can actually make your weight loss success bigger and better. So many people start their weight loss journeys and they're doing the steps or just going through the motions every day. They're reading weight loss articles or health reports and um, you know, taking into consideration what they learn but not really applying it. And maybe they have a personal trainer or a nutritionist giving them a whole bunch of details, but once again, probably not really applying it. Here's how you can make your weight loss bigger and better. The very first thing is, is you need to change your attitude about all of it, every little bit of it. You have to see the value in it. You can't resist anything. When you resist information that you're learning, when you resist what your personal trainer's telling you, when you resist anything, you're not going to do it. And if you do do it, you're not going to like it and it won't stick. So that's the very first thing on how you can make your weight loss bigger and better is change that attitude, be a little more curious, be a little, little more optimistic about it, be open-minded, experiment. The second thing that has got to change is you are focused probably on details. You're gathering a bunch of information, trying to piece it all together, how it's going to work for you. What you need to do instead is focus on the big picture. Focus on the big wins also. So what are the small things that you could really focus on, really hone in on, so that you can be more consistent in your weight loss journey by nitpicking all of the little things, all of the new trends in weight loss and health and fitness really aren't going to help you take the right actions. Sometimes also you have to be able to sit back and see that big picture. A lot of us get focused on the details and we can't place them all together. We can't put them all into steps. Sometimes that overwhelms us. We can't see how all of these little steps are going to lead to something bigger. So sometimes you have to reflect on how far you've already come on your weight loss journey and then project that into the future and see how this can be bigger and better for yourself. For me, I do this all of the time with everything, every big thing that I'm trying to change in my life that starts to feel overwhelming. I reflect on how far I've already come. That helps me see that big picture. So when I joined the gym back in 2009, I had no idea that I would be a health coach today talking to you. That's the big picture of making one of those small decisions and doing it over time, changing my attitude about it, got me to where I'm at right now. So those are the two things that you can do to make your weight loss bigger and better, is shift your attitude about how you receive information and what you're doing, but also focus a little bit more on that big picture and maybe a little bit less on the details. All right, my minute is way up. If you like this video, please hit like. If you thought it was insightful and you've never heard it explained in this way before, please share it. And if you have your own example of how someone could make their weight loss bigger and better without diet supplements or body wraps or surgery, there's a caveat for you, please leave a comment below. I'd absolutely love to hear about it. Remember, if you want to level up in life, you have got to play the game. Until next time, take care. Bye. The next session of eight great ways to lose weight's coming up. One in. For more info, go to eightgreatwaystoloseweight.com.